Hey guys, my name is David and I'm one of the physios here at Balance Health and Performance. Do you squat? If so, this is for you. And specifically, we're talking about butt winking. And when we refer to butt winking, we're talking about your tailbone at the bottom of your squat, dropping down like this as it winks, okay? Which is what we see when we have a little bit of curvature, a little bit of bending in our spine. The reason we care about butt wink is because it is one way we can address low back pain while squatting. A reason why low back pain can happen during a squat is the change in spinal position as you're going down into the squat rather than maintaining a stable, strong position the whole way through. Now, if you think this applies to you, keep watching because I'm gonna show you a great way that you can address this problem. Now, some really common ways you may have seen in the past include increasing your stance width, getting a bit more dorsiflexion with weightlifting shoes, using counterbalancing options, but I'm gonna show you a way you may not have seen before that we found really effective in the clinic. One way we can work on butt wink is by addressing pelvic positioning. And the muscles that actually do that are our back muscles. So I'm gonna have Nick here just come down into a bit of a hinge and he's gonna squat down a little bit as well. Yep, and having the dumbbell up in front of him, he's gonna start pressing it out. And the reason why we're doing this is that if I ask Nick, are your back muscles working at the moment, Nico? Yeah, so they're working hard to keep him up, all right? It's a very similar positioning to a squat, but we're changing where the weight is to make it purely a lower back exercise. The other thing we can do with this as well is to make the positioning a bit more specific to where your butt wink might start. So say for Nick, it happened a little bit lower down the squat, or at this point here, yep. And the same thing, Nico. You'll probably find it a little bit harder as well. Is that a bit more challenging, Nick? Yeah. <laughs> so his back muscle is going to be working harder. The length of his lever has increased as well. So in theory, it's a little bit heavier. And pop back up, Nico. <laughs> it's a good little workout and it's a really good way to sort of alter it to make the positioning specific to you to where that butt wink is more likely to occur and a really good way to help get those muscles a lot stronger. So while this exercise and this post is great for anyone who does squat, really for powerlifters and crossfitters, this is going to be most applicable for you. And if you are one of those people, I like to work this into your routine as a bit of a warm up. So if you can start off with three sets of five at about three kilos, that's what we worked with, with Nick, is a really good starting point. And as you get stronger, think about actually holding that tension for longer. So holding it for two seconds, for three seconds and so on, and going heavier, as opposed to increasing your reps and sets. Thanks for watching guys. My name is David, and I'm one of the physios here at Balanced Health Performance. And you can find me in Sydney at Norwest and at Bondi Junction Clinics. Hopefully you found this helpful, and if you want to find more, come and see me.